Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States. And welcome once again to the middle of nowhere. Now after the last couple of weeks, we've been running episodes from downtown Manhattan in New York City. I don't think we could possibly have chosen a more diametrically opposed opposite place to come at back this week than here in Jerusalem, Maryland. And Jerusalem isn't even actually a town. It's kind of a little unincorporated touristy historic area. We're about 30, 35 miles northeast of the city of Baltimore, Maryland, which obviously big, busy metropolis. You can't imagine that in that short distance of driving how different the world becomes. But we came out here today to show you one of the real treats of this area, and that is the Jericho Covered Bridge. This is Jericho Road, whence the name Jericho Bridge. This bridge was built in 1865. So right at the end of our Civil War here in the United States, it's 88 feet long. For those of you that are interested in those sort of stats, it's 14.7 feet wide. Now I've often wondered why they built bridges covered. And I've always had a fascination with covered bridges. I think they're so quaint, so beautiful, so charming. But they built bridges covered, not for people and their animals, but for the bridge itself. These are timber bridges. So they put a cover over it to extend the life of the bridge. An uncovered wooden timber bridge will last about 10 to 15 years and it has to be rebuilt. A covered bridge will last several orders of magnitude longer than that, maybe upwards of 50 years or more, maybe a hundred years, depending on the weather conditions and whether other things happen to the bridge, but it will extend the life of the bridge. So that is why they built bridges covered. Now, obviously it was a very nice thing. In inclement weather, you know, you're you know, when these were built in the 1860s to seek shelter in, you know, maybe in a storm, a bad thunderstorm, a bad snowstorm, you, your animals could seek cover, but that wasn't the intent. So that was just kind of a side benefit. Now, this river, interestingly enough, is, is called a falls. It's not called a river. I don't know why that is. It's Gunpowder Falls, <laughs> but it's just a little brook that's got a lot of rocks and it's not terribly deep. Probably at its deepest point in here, it's less than two feet deep but obviously would have been a horrific obstacle to transportation in the 1860s. So from the information that I've read, this is a burr truss bridge. Now I'm not exactly certain what a burr truss is, but in some of the footage we've got, I hopefully I've put it in here someplace, there's a large arched timber through the middle of the bridge on both sides to give that some ability to, to resist the load in the middle. Now this bridge is only what, 12 foot high so we have this modern day sign with these safety devices so that if somebody comes by and they hear those clinking the top of their truck or load or whatever, they know they are too tall to pass the Jericho Bridge, which I suppose is actually a pretty good idea because it would be disastrous both to the driver and to the bridge to have somebody with an over height load go through here. Now this bridge has been refurbished several times, uh, once in the 1930s, once in the 1970s, and then again in 2015, just last year, they did a, an overhaul refurbishment on it. So it's in very, very good condition right now when we're filming, very pleased about that. So this is something that they keep up and maintain. And yes, this is a public road. This is a 
you know, a regular thoroughfare. So this bridge serves a real utilitarian purpose. And what a quaint, just beautiful, idyllic setting. But that's all, folks. We just wanted to bring you down and show you the Jericho Bridge here. One of the remnants from just after our Civil War. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it peaceful. If you've got questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I will try to get back to you if I can. We love hearing from all of you. If you haven't already, I encourage you to pick subscribe and come along for the adventure. We do love having everybody with us. And as always, thank you for watching.